Suppose that we're trying to find the antiderivative of a function of a line. So in other words, we've got a function evaluated at a constant times x plus another constant. It turns out that you can use substitution, aka change of variables, in order to do this. But there's a faster way that's more effective. So now suppose that we have a function of the form f of ax plus b. What happens when we differentiate that function with respect to x? Well, when we differentiate it with respect to x, we get f prime of ax plus b, and the chain rule tells us that we have to take the derivative of what's inside. So we multiply it times the derivative with respect to x of ax plus b. Now here, a and b represent constants. In the problem we showed you earlier, a was 3 and b was pi. The derivative of a constant times x is just the actual constant. So we're left with f prime of ax plus b times a. Now I can bring that a back over to the other side. So we know that f prime of ax plus b equals the derivative with respect to x of 1 over a times f of ax plus b. Remember that you can bring multiplication or division by constants inside a derivative symbol. This tells us that if we take the antiderivative of both sides, then the antiderivative with respect to x of f prime of ax plus b is equal to f of ax plus b divided by a. So in other words, when you're trying to anti-differentiate a function of a line, you first anti-differentiate the f prime to get you f, and then you divide by whatever constant is currently in front of the x. Okay, so now that we've got our formula down, let's use it to try and solve our problem. Our formula tells us that the antiderivative of f prime of ax plus b is f at ax plus b divided by a. So in order to find the antiderivative of sine of 3x plus pi, we need to figure out what is f, what is f prime, what is a. Well, f prime is just the function that we're trying to anti-differentiate. In this case, f prime equals sine. So when we want to find out f, we simply anti-differentiate. The antiderivative of sine is negative cosine, and so f equals negative cosine. So our answer, our antiderivative with respect to x of sine of 3x plus pi is going to equal negative cosine of 3x plus pi divided by 3. Whatever the coefficient in front of the x is, that's what's going to be divided by when we calculate our answer. So this is the antiderivative that we're looking for. Now, we can go ahead and check our work by redifferentiating. See if we can find the same answer that we did before. If we start off with negative one-third cosine of 3x plus pi, and differentiate, we know that the derivative of cosine is negative the sine. So when we differentiate negative one-third cosine 3x plus pi with respect to x, we're going to get negative one-third times negative sine of 3x plus, three, plus pi. And then the chain rule tells us we multiply times the derivative of what's inside. The derivative of 3x plus pi is just 3. So the 3 cancels with the 1 third, and the negative cancels with the negative to give us sine of 3x plus pi. One way to remember what's going on, when we differentiate using the chain rule, we multiply times the derivative of what's inside. And when we anti-differentiate, using the chain rule, we divide by the derivative of what's inside.